Australian defence company Drone Shield has passed a series of tests at the Yuma Proving Ground, a United States Army facility that tests military equipment. It means the US Department of Defence has now recommended Drone Shield to form part of its solution to counter unmanned aircraft systems. Well, joining me now is Drone Shield Chief Executive Oleg Vornik. Oleg, thanks for your time today. Just talk us through what products were tested at Yuma. How tough is that testing process? Drone Shield offers a range of portable vehicle-based and fixed side products. All of our products are designed to provide long-range detection and defeat of small drones of the like that Russia is using today to attack Ukraine. And drones have been a rising issue for the military for a number of years now. At Yuma, the US Army has evaluated a number of our products and has issued recommendation against all of our products. And in fact, last week, we received the first purchase order of just under $2 million for our portable systems for the deployment by the US Army. And now this latest recommendation, which relates to our base protection or fixed site systems, is paving way towards deployment across the US Army bases. How, how sort of much competition is there in the market in that sort of testing process with the US military in particular? There were literally dozens of competitors, all significant companies, mostly American based. Finally, three parties were selected for the recommendation and Drone Shield, together with our US partner SAIC, which is priming the consortium where we provide our equipment into, has been selected as one of the three parties. The process took about two years, uh, multiple evaluations, very significant, and uh, we're now excited to be moving to the next phase of actually starting to receive orders to roll out our equipment with the US Army. So it's two years worth of testing. How rigorous, what sort of things do they put your products through? Exceptionally rigorous. So they're looking for different drone flying attack scenarios, uh, testing across different bases in different conditions, uh, lots of different scenarios and to test that we're able to turn up, detect, defeat, um, and everything works like it says in the box, integrates together with the rest of the US Army systems, all of that stuff. Yeah, you obviously you mentioned the war in Ukraine. Are your products on the ground right now over in Europe? That's right. We deployed some of our products, portables, at the start of the Ukrainian war under the uh, under military aid program from, from one of the European governments. What are they actually doing? Like, what purpose are they serving right now? Our products enable detection and defeat of drones that Russia uses. Uh, Russia and both sides in the conflict use drones, right? The way Russia uses their drones is for surveillance, uh, so seeing uh, what are the movement of uh, Ukrainian troops on the ground, and then using artillery to create strikes on those troops, uh, dropping charges, and of course the latest with Iranian drones, kamikaze-style attacks, destroying both civilian and, and military installations. Yeah, we've been reading about those Iranian-made kamikaze drones this week. Um, how do you stop them? Well, those drones can fly quite large distances. I think we're talking up to 1,000 kilometres, although it appears like the Russians are using them at much shorter distances. They are GPS-guided drones. So to the extent that you're able to do what we call an industry electronic attack or disrupt all communication between those drones and the GPS and their controller, uh, we should be able to take them down. Now, this is all very new as far as specifically those Iranian drones, and we're getting into areas which is difficult to talk about on uh, TV publicly, but our equipment is designed to detect and defeat those uh, small drones with GPS guidance or remote control back to the pilot. And is that the same procedure with one of those spy drones that's much more higher up in the sky do, taking spy photographs? Their technology seems to be fairly different and those large spy drones like Predators, Reapers, uh, Greyhawks, uh, they are not used in the war to our knowledge and our equipment is specifically for smaller drones. So when somebody talks about drones, uh, they usually refer to either really small ones or really big ones. It's quite a flexible term. And integrated systems usually can do a range of them. So we target smaller ones, but then more traditional like anti-aircraft type systems are able to target larger drones. A few weeks ago, we also saw that the Nord Stream gas pipeline had been sabotaged by explosives and there was speculation it may have been underwater drones that may have carried that out. How do you fight drones underwater? <laughs> it's entirely different physics, right? So we're able to target drones which are above water or on the surface of water or on the ground. 
underwater you'll be using sonar devices to detect objects and defeat will be very tricky. Um, you would literally need to probably do similar things like you would use against divers or similar technologies. But I think it's a very interesting situation because drones are increasingly used in warfare and a gray zone kind of warfare, which is advantage of that is it's very difficult to attribute an attack to a particular nation when you're using a drone. How do you track it down to who's piloting it? And I think they're still investigating who indeed has been behind those attacks and potentially behind those drones. But we are seeing a lot of interest for detection and defeat of underwater drones in addition to the air-based drones like what we do today. Your quarterly report came out last week and you call out how you signed a contract in Europe for the drone sentry and the US with the drone gun. Are those your most popular products? All of our products are fairly popular. Over the years, we've been weeding out the products that did not work. But yes, Drone Gun is probably what Drone Shield is most well known for. This is our portable handheld drone defeat system. And Drone Sentry, which is what we're deploying in Europe. And of course, in Europe, you have heightened security tensions with the situation in Ukraine. Uh, that is our premium fixed site system to create that awareness and defeat against drones crossing borders and coming to sensitive installations. And, similar situations. And just quickly, Outlook, how is it for the sector? We are living in an increasingly uncertain world with increasing macroeconomic tensions. So being a defense intelligence and security company is, is a prime time to be now. And we formed about eight years ago. And in some ways, it's lucky that we had all this time to get to the point where we now develop the products, the solutions, as we see customers having huge interest in, in our products, as drone warfare especially is continuing to rapidly rise. Oleg, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.